Hi! In some of our last videos, we dedicated our attention to problems related to pumping systems, which means how to pump a flow Q against a head H. For this purpose, we use this pump chart in which the curves H versus Q, eta versus Q, P versus Q, and NPSHR versus Q are represented. You'll find specific videos in this channel that explain how to obtain each one of them. Also, we saw how to build this curve. It represents the so-called manometric head, which is the sum of the geometric head plus the head losses that will take place in the system that follows the pump. When we put together both curves, pump and system, we find the operating point, flow and manometric head, that will prevail in the installation. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Marcos. I am a retired professor of hydraulics. Now, I am a consultant engineer of many companies that deal with hydraulics applied to sanitation works. Let's take a look at the pump chart. We'll consider this curve, which corresponds to the 350 mm diameter impeller. As we said, we find the operating point when we put together the pump and the system curves, as represented here. We can find the values of Q and H graphically or algebraically. There are videos in this channel showing how to find the equations for the pump and for the system, a procedure which allows us to find those values. Here is the operating point in the pump chart, and here is the corresponding efficiency. From this point, we can find the power and the NPSHR of the pump. Usually, we install two pumps, one of which is meant for standby purposes. So, when we install two pumps in parallel, another one is also installed for standby purposes. So, let's take a look at this installation. Here is the pump chart of each pump. We've seen in another video of this channel how we find the curve that represents this association. For each head, we double the flow, as shown. This will be the operating point when the one pump operates alone, and this will be the operating point when two pumps operate in parallel. In this situation, this will be the flow and the manometric head. Notice that each pump will contribute with half of the total flow. The manometric head will be the same for both of them. Here is the operating point in the pump chart, the flow and the manometric head. From this point, we can find the power of each point. Notice that the power of the installation will be twice the power of each pump. We can find the NPSHR and the efficiency too. And what's going to happen when we associate two different types of pumps? Here are their charts. The pump on the left, which we call A, is bigger than the pump on the right, which we call B. Here is the curve of pump A, and here is the curve of pump B. The green curve is the association of A and B. To obtain it, we start from the shutoff head of B, and for other heads below, we sum the corresponding values of Q, as we're doing here. Now we put together the curve of the system, here is the operating point, and the corresponding flow. As the manometric head will be the same for both pumps, we can find the flow of each pump. Here is the operating point of A, from which we can find its power, its NPSHR, and its efficiency. And now, here is the operating point of B, and we do the same to find its power, its NPSHR, and its efficiency. In short, these are the values found for pump A and the values found for pump B. Notice that the power of the installation will be the sum of the power of both pumps. And that's enough for today. See you in our next video.